Hi guys, welcome to my channel. If you're new, please subscribe. My channel is about all things makeup related, so if that interests you, be sure to subscribe and hit the bell for future notifications of uploads. So today's video is going to be about high-end makeup that is worth it. I personally, I'm a nurse and I work really hard for my money, so I only purchase high-end makeup if it's worth it. And I hate it when you spend a lot of money on a makeup product and it's disappointing and I already have a de-influencing video up about products I purchased that were on the more expensive side and I was just disappointed. So this video is going to be a more positive note and these are products I purchased that are high end that I think are totally worth it. So one company that I'm gonna mention sent me some products that are absolutely amazing, which is why they're in this video. Um, other than that, these are all things I purchased myself. So the first product I'm gonna mention is the Urban Decay Vice Lipstick. This is in the shade Oat Milk. And oat milk is just to me the absolute perfect nude lipstick. It's a cream formula. It's long lasting. It's just the perfect nude shade. It's like this baby pink nude and I just love it. It's one of my favorite lipsticks and it's so worth the money because finding a really good shade nude lipstick, um, I own like so many, but this one is one of my top dogs. And I'm just so happy I bought this. It's so worth it. And yeah, so Irma Decay Oat Milk. Next is another nude lipstick. I'm not wearing this one, but I'm not sure if I mentioned I am wearing the Oat Milk lipstick right now. So next is this Makeup by Mario lipstick. I love the packaging. It's this magnetic clasp. And it's Makeup by Mario. It's the shade Sierra. And it is a perfect, perfect red nude matte lipstick. The formula of this lipstick is one of my top favorite formulas of any lipstick. It's this matte, lightweight, perfect, perfect lipstick. And actually, I'm just going to swatch these. I'm going to swatch oat milk too. So that's what it looks like swatched super pretty it's like the perfect fall nude lipstick i honestly wear this all year long though and i just love it and then this is oat milk oat milk is the lighter one the cream formula and sierra is above oat milk i mean no one is surprised here because makeup by mario is such a phenomenal makeup artist and so his products of course are just as perfect and the formula of this is just, it's so good. It's one of my favorite formulas. Lightweight, matte, long-lasting, and just perfect. It's actually the only lipstick I own by him. I want to get more, but I'm really, I'm just trying to use what I got, you know? I already have a lipstick I love by him. I'm like, I don't need to go buy out, buy every single shade, but it's definitely one of my top formulas. So, like, if he comes out with some more fabulous shades, I might have to buy them. But I'm really happy right now with this one. I mean, this is my go-to. So Sierra by Mario. So next is a product I am wearing right now, and that is the Too Faced Lip Injection Max Maximum Plump. It is iridescent pink. Do you see that? It is iridescent pink. Comes out like that. That's what the applicator looks like. Smells like cinnamon. And it does burn, so if you don't like lip plumpers that burn, um, I don't recommend this, but it does give you a really nice plump. A plump that is better than all my other plumping lip glosses. So if I really want the extra plump, this is the one I go for, and it's so worth the money to me. I do have some lip filler, and I feel like this just like brings your lips to the next level. So... There's some, you know, some people don't like Too Faced and some people don't like their lip injection lip gloss because it tingles and burns, but to me, it's just the best formula that I've tried. So, Too Faced Lip Injection Maximum Plump. All right, so next we're gonna go with the product that I use all the time. It's my Perversion Urban Decay Matte Black Pencil. It is a pencil that you have to sharpen However, I've had my last one for 
like a year and a half. These pencils last me so long and I use this almost every single day. The formula of the matte black I'm wearing it right now is just super long lasting. It's buttery smooth and I just can't say enough good things about this. By far the best black liner for your waterline. It's about $20 and to me it's so worth it because it's so long lasting. I feel like when I buy the drugstore ones, like I used to buy them in high school, I had to buy them like every month or two because they just wear out so much because you have to put so much on. And I don't know, but with this, I literally buy one of these every year and a half and it lasts me. And I just, I absolutely love it. It's so worth the money and I'm actually saving money because when I buy the drugstore ones, I'm constantly repurchasing them. So invest in the Urban Decay Perversion Matte Black Pencil. You will not be disappointed. So let's see, let's go with an old school product. The Too Faced Turn Up The Lights palette to me is so worth the money because you get these three powders. This center powder is a like a dupe for the hourglass finishing powder or ambient lighting powder. And then the highlighter here, the glow highlighter, as you can tell I've hit pan on, is a really stunning blinding highlight. And then you have this kind of chalky glittery shade, which does make a good eyeshadow, but I really don't use it. But these two powders right here are worth the money. I want to say this palette's $42. It comes with a mirror. It is a bit bulky and egg shaped, but I take mine on trips because it's just, it's a must. And this is in the medium um, shade range. Turn up the light palette. I'm telling you, you would not be disappointed with this center. The center focus off focus powder is stunning and so is the highlighter. And I clearly love mine. I've had mine for about two or three years now. I still use it. I still love it. I still take it on trips. So worth the investment. So let's go on with a newer product. I have here the KVD Good Apple Foundation. I'm wearing on my face right now. And I absolutely love this foundation. So I have oily skin, but my skin, it's more like combination. It's not completely oily, but I do not like dewy foundation. So this right here is a super breathable matte full coverage foundation. I have a whole review video on this foundation and I have noticed at the end of the day, my face does get shiny. So I would say that this is not a oily skin only foundation. I think really anyone can use this if you're dry, if you're oily, if you're normal. Um, I use this on my wife and it worked pretty well for her. For me, oily skin, my face does get shiny at the end of the day, which is pretty normal. So, um, but yeah, full coverage, a lightweight. I love this foundation. I can't wait to use this foundation when I'm tanner. Um, I think it's going to work really good during the summer here in Florida. And I just think this is so worth the money. It's $42. And I've used this almost every single day since I bought it. And it doesn't even feel like I've used... Like, I don't even hear the shaking. You have to shake this before you use it as well. But I don't even feel like I've used that much um, because a little bit goes a long way. So KVD Good Apple Foundation. So next, this is a makeup company that sent me these products. These are the only products that were sent to me. And this is the Merit Foundation Brush. So amazing, soft. The reviews on this foundation brush are not lying. It's just an amazing foundation brush and I really need to wash mine so I can use it again. But hands down, worth the investment. I think it's $30 and it's one of my top favorite foundation brushes. Next are these Merit Highlighters. These are very unique highlighters. This is the shade Bounce and this is the shade Kava. I don't know why there's like this oil on them. I don't know if you see that, it's like oil. I don't know why, but um, so this is Bounce. Look how stunning. And it dries down to this like wet looking type highlighter and it's just absolutely gorgeous and unique. So below is Kava, that one down there, and then Bounce is up there. And they're just one of my favorite go-to liquid highlighters. I just think they're so good. 
So in my de-influencing video, I talk about how I hate the Charlotte Tilbury um, flawless whatever, flawless filter and the highlighter. I don't like them. These are worth the money and they're unique. I haven't used anything like it. And to me, that like natural highlight they give is just, these to me are just worth the money. So the Merit Highlighting Sticks. All right, so next we'll go back in with an older, we'll go with an older product. This is the MAC Soft and Gentle Highlighter. I bought this, it has to be like eight years ago. It was definitely in college and look at that. Like I've hit pan on it and every now and then I'll just start using it and I get obsessed with it all over again. So MAC Soft and Gentle Highlighter, first off, it lasts you a very long time, very long time. It's still just as perfect as it was the day I got it, and it just looks amazing on your skin. It's perfect as an eyeshadow, a highlighter, inner corner highlight, all the above. It's amazing. So soft and gentle to me is so worth it. Um, I'm so happy I have it, and yeah, one of my top favorite highlighters. Speaking of highlighters, next I have their Rare Beauty Highlighter. So... Remember highlighter used to be very in and now it's more of a soft highlight look because more in style. Um, this one right here, this is for the girls. It's still like a blinding highlight. This is one of my favorite inner corner highlighters. This is, it's just, this is a good highlighter. This is not overhyped. The hype is true. It's that amazing. And it's just super blinding and pigmented. I have it on my cheeks right now. Um, it's just so good. As you can tell, I've used a lot of it because I used to have like a dome on here and I've really, I don't know if you can see how far I've dipped into it. Like I've dipped pretty far into that. And it's $25, which is way cheaper than the Soft and Gentle, way cheaper than the Too Faced Turn Up the Light. Um, I've used a lot of this. This is in the shade Exhilarate, by the way. And it comes with a mirror, the super cute nude packaging, and it's just such a good highlighter. Like, if you're going to invest in a highlighter, invest in this one. But if you're a girl who is not into the blinding highlight, who likes the no makeup makeup look, I'm not sure if you would like this because it is super blinding and it's a highlight. Like, it's a beaming highlighter. So, I think this is well worth the money. It's $25. One of my top favorite highlighters, I use this a lot, and it is the Exhilarate Highlighter by Rare Beauty. All right, so next I have a bronzer. This is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Bronzer. This is in the shade Rich Amber. I remember I wanted a different shade, but they were sold out of the one I wanted, so I went with Rich Amber. And the formula of this bronzer, it blends amazing. There's like no patchiness. It's pigmented. I have used this so much this summer. Um, it's my go-to bronzer when I'm tan. I use this so much. I took this to Mexico. I took this to Mexico. I used it so much there when I was getting married and I just used it a bunch. And it doesn't even look like I touched it because it's so pigmented and buttery smooth and it just does something to your face that makes you just like bronze. Um, but I highly recommend this bronzer. I think it's so worth the money. It comes with a huge mirror. It's Anastasia Beverly Hills. As you know, her formulas are always super blendable and pigmented. The shade's good. It's rich amber. It's a good shade. But um, maybe I can find like a lighter color so I can wear it whenever I'm not as tan. But I love this bronzer. This is my go-to summer bronzer and I absolutely think it's worth it. So next are these concealers. These are the Tarte Shape Tape Concealers. And I am obsessed with Tarte Shape Tape. So I personally don't like to spend a lot of money on a high-end concealer, like the Hourglass Concealer or the NARS Concealers that come in these little tubes. They're like a, the size of this, like a little tube. Because I feel like you're spending all that money on that concealer and you're gonna use that concealer like every single day. And it's just going to be not worth it to me. But these Tarte Shape Tape Concealers, like, I, one of these will last me easily four months, five months. Plus, I do my wife's makeup. So, if I'm using a concealer that's the size of this tube, I'm just not going to, I'm going to be buying a new one constantly. But the Tarte Shape Tape is so 
like amazing in my eyes for me at least and my skin and my wife's skin we love Tarte Shape Tape. So I think it's pigmented, it blends out, it's long lasting, it lasts me a long time, the shade range is amazing. So to me Tarte Shape Tape is so worth it and I have a really hard time trying new concealers. I did try the Born This Way by Too Faced but I got the shade Snow and it's just so light that it's just like too light. It's just not working for me. But it is a really good concealer, but still I find myself using Tarte Shape Tape all the time. It's my go-to and yeah, Tarte Shape Tape is to me a ride or die and I will always be using Tarte Shape Tape. All right, next is kind of like a random product. I don't wear dramatic wing eyeliner anymore, but back when that was like in, you wanted to find a really good pigmented matte black eyeliner formula and this Inglot eyeliner is it. Like I'm telling you, this is the best matte black eyeliner ever. I got mine on Amazon. Um, it's only good for like six months once you open it. I really don't use it that much, but it's just, it's the best. So if you're looking for a matte black eyeliner that you can draw on a wing, Inglot matte black eyeliner is it and it's just pigmented it's matte it's just the perfect like when I say this is perfect it is perfect the perfect matte black eyeliner formula this is like $17 I got mine from Amazon and I don't really use it that often because like I said I don't do wing eyeliner anymore but it's always good to have this because when I'm feeling creative and I want a wing eyeliner then I always know I can reach for this and it's just the perfect formula. So Inglot Matte Black Eyeliner is so worth it. Next, I have this NARS Concealer. I did a YouTube short about this. This is in the shade Light 2.2. And Michaela on TikTok really was the one that introduced me to this concealer. And it is absolutely amazing. As you can tell, I barely have anything used up in this. And I use it almost every single day. I put it on my blemishes here on my chin. I have a little broken blood vessel up here and some spots on my cheek. And a little bit goes the longest way. And it just really, really, really conceals and hides your imperfections. It's amazing. Um, every time I use this, I'm just like, where has this been my whole life? And it's just so amazing. It's been sold out for a really long time online for Sephora, but I bought mine in store. And it's so worth the money to me. I don't really use it underneath my eyes. I did use it maybe three times or so underneath my eyes just to see what it's like as a concealer in that way. But it's really like a spot concealer. So this concealer, so worth the money. It's going to last me a very long time. Hides my imperfections. Is just all around a perfect product. Next is another Makeup by Mario product. I'm wearing it right now on my cheeks and that is the Mario blush. It's in the shade Creamy Peach and do you see the like specks of glitter in there? It comes off matte but it has this like it's not a flat matte blush. It has this barely there shimmerness to it which is just perfect because as we know Makeup by Mario, Makeup by Mario is just the most perfect makeup artist so of course his products are going to be made to like the absolute perfection. Comes with a mirror super cute magnetic white packaging and this blush is the perfect shade it's the perfect amount of shimmer and matte and I absolutely love it and look how much product I have I have used this like so like, I use it I used to use this every single day and then you know I'm mixing it up every now and then but I have used this blush so much because it's so pigmented that I have so much product in the pan it's so worth it like i'm telling you this is so worth it i think it's 24 dollars for this blush it's amazing i love it i want to try his more pinker blush um but it's amazing it is absolutely perfect so this is going to last me a very long time the makeup by mario blush next blush i have here is the laura mercier this is in the shade peach bellini I love the packaging. It's super, super sleek. It comes with a mirror, and this is Peach Bellini. It's that matte orange shade. This shade is so unique. 
Um, I wasn't sure how I felt about it because it's so like orange, but I paired it with the makeup by Mario and it's the best blush to like mix in with other blushes. And it just looks so good when I'm fair. It looks so good when I'm tan. It's just all around a blush that I can wear all year round. And the shade is so, it's very, very matte. But the shade is so unique. It's like peachy and then it's pink, but it's like the perfect not pink blush. But it's, I don't even know. I don't even know if that makes any sense. I just know I love this shade and it really surprised me because it is very much so on the orange side. Um, it is expensive, but to me it's worth it because I mix it with other blushes and I just get this like amazing blush shade. And I use this all year round. This isn't something that I use only when I'm tan or only when I'm fair. And I just love this shade and it's definitely one I pack with me on trips because I know if I pack this, this is actually all I need to. Like I don't have to mix with other blushes. But I love the formula, I love the color, and mainly I love the color. Um, it lasts too. I don't know what I'm trying to say. All I'm trying to say is this shade of blush is just amazing in my eyes. I love it, and it's so worth the money. So Laura Mercier Bellini. Next, I have this translucent setting powder. This is by One Size. If you watch my channel, you know I love this powder. So this is like my second one. It lasts me a really long time. It comes in this super cute packaging. My only complaint is that it is hard to get the product out of that little, little slit. It is pretty hard to get the product out, but I love it. This is one of my favorite setting powders and I really haven't even been looking for any other setting powders once I started using this because I'm like, this is just my go-to. I love it. I'm surprised it's not more viral because it's so good. It's $30 and you get all this product. You get, um, oh yeah, 1.2 ounces, 34.5 grams. And it is the one size translucent powder. I can't say enough good things about this. Highly recommend it and is definitely worth it in my eyes. So next I have this NARS powder. This is a newer product. This is in the shade Cove. And this is what Cove looks like. It's just a matte powder. It comes with a huge mirror. And it comes in this really thin, matte, beautiful NARS packaging. So when this product first came out, I was just kind of looking for a really, really good setting powder. And this powder isn't really like a true setting powder. It's like a perfecting powder, finishing powder. And I just like to take mine a little brush like this and put it on my forehead. And it is like super pigmented. It like mattifies my forehead, highlights it a little bit. So I'll do this right before I leave the house. And then right here on my cheeks, I'll just dab it. And I kind of just blend it into my blush because sometimes my blush can get over here too far. And I just kind of do that with the powder. And it just keeps me matte, highlights my areas perfectly. And it's just such a thin powder, but it's pigmented and it's blendable. And I just love it. Ever since I used it, I was like, I like this. And, um, a little bit goes a long way so this is worth it in my eyes because I know it's gonna last me a really long time and it just does what it says it's gonna do it's a finishing powder it's pigmented it's lightweight it is perfecting and it's soft matte like I love it for that reason and I just I think it's a really good powder so to me it's worth it and I feel like it's not getting enough hype and I'm just really excited I found something like this. To me, I have not tried these Charlotte Tilbury powders, but I think this might be similar to those because it's like a finishing powder, but it's just like perfect. Like it's mattifying, it's lightweight, it's pigmented. And look at that. So, so worth it. Next are just some eyeshadow palettes. If you watch my channel, you know majority of my videos are eyeshadow tutorials. And to me, the Anastasia of Beverly Hills eyeshadow formula is just so worth it. 
I own four of these palettes. I purchased these myself. And some of these are just super, super old. They're all well loved and so worth the money in my eyes. If you're going to purchase any high end eyeshadow palette, I recommend Anastasia Beverly Hills palettes. They are just so worth it. They have so many beautiful shades. Um, the neutrals are amazing. The shimmers, just. If you watch my channel, you know how much I love Anastasia Beverly Hills palettes. Next palettes I love if you're a neutral girl. I, I actually consider myself a neutral girl. I like to film dramatic, fun eye looks because I think they're fun to create and whatnot, but usually if I'm leaving my house, I'm wearing neutral eye looks. And these two palettes by Too Faced, they're the Born This Way um, Sunset Stripped and the Born This Way The Natural Nudes palette are the perfect nude eyeshadow palettes. So worth the money in my opinion. Um, I could use these every day for the rest of my life and they're amazing. So worth the money and if you have both of these palettes you can create so many cute looks with them. I have plenty of tutorials using these palettes and I highly 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 recommend them. I think they are so worth the money. Another thing that's worth the money is the Ariel Morphe makeup brushes. Hands down the best makeup brushes ever. I really need to wash mine but they are so good and I love them. So worth the investment and I highly, highly, highly recommend you check these out. So worth the money. Okay, the one last final product worth the money is the Good Girl Perfume. This is my signature perfume. I love this, I'm currently out. I have used every last bit of this perfume and the smell, it's musky, it's strong, it's beautiful. I love this perfume. It's Hands down, my favorite perfume. I really need to buy a new one, but to me it's so worth it. It's pretty expensive. It's by Carolina Herrera, and it's not even it's not even that expensive, but to me it's expensive. But it is the Good Girl perfume. It's so worth it. It is the most amazing perfume. It smells so good. Let me see if there's anything left in here. Oh, I love it. Like, I need to buy this again because, whew, I love it. So good. So, that is the last product. All right, guys, that completes my favorite high-end products that are worth the money. Be sure to subscribe, like, and comment. And if you're new to my channel, if you like all things makeup related, that's what my channel is all about. So be sure to subscribe, and I'll see you in my next video.